Hey everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Your Resume. So to spice things up a little bit, I'm going to be reviewing not only a resume today, but also an Asian snack. Well, actually in this case, it's a Asian drink. It's a strawberry milk drink from Sangaria. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. Focus, focus. So I've always wanted to try one of these drinks. They always just look so cute, you know? Um, so I just went to H Mart uh, recently and I bought a bunch of snacks and this is one of them. I will start with this. Ooh, am I supposed to shake it? Strawberries blended with your milk. Okay, I feel like I should shake it. Okay, it doesn't say. I'm just gonna shake it. I hope it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's fizzy. Okay. All right. Smells like strawberries and milk. It smells as expected. Oh, that's actually really good. Um, I like strawberry milk from the States, where like just North America in general. It's kind of like that, but it's like slightly different. I don't know how to explain it. It's like this distinct Asian taste to it, you know? It's like less sweet, kind of. Pretty good, pretty good. Would recommend. All right. Now let's start the resume review. I'll just be drinking this while I'm reviewing the resume. Yeah, so this is a resume that was submitted to me about two weeks ago. It's been anonymized. Let's get started. I like the formatting of it. Skills, education, work experience, project, community involvement, extracurriculars. Yeah, so formatting is really good. Definitely will be able to pass ATS because it's very simple in the way that it's presented. This sort of like the actual structure of the resume. So first thing is I would put education first. This is more just like convention. And the way I would arrange it is education will go at the top and then you can have skills. And then after skills, you can have work experience followed by projects and then community involvement and extracurriculars. I'm gonna start off with education because that's like kind of where it should be usually. So University of Washington, BS computer science and software engineering. Okay, that's good. Marketing committee member. So the way to arrange this, um, the BS in Computer Science and Software Engineering 2020, 2022 is good. Um, I would remove the marketing committee members um, and also a member of Rewinding the Code. This is like all really great information, but that can go like, you know, in the extracurriculars section over here. Education should be pretty simple. It should be like, you know, your program, um, your, your university, your program, your graduation date, your GPA and your major GPA, if that happens to be a bit higher and then relevant courses. This one is completely fine. Java programming, software engineering, data structures, things like that. That's good. Cool. Then after that, it should be skills. Programming languages, Java, C++, Git, Go. Programming languages is good with technical experience. Um, that's good as well. I would, but I would try to pump that up a little bit. Like maybe you can say something like technical experience, try to, I would, I would change that into technical skills and just kind of beef that up a little bit with the stuff that you probably learned from class. So you started September, 2018. So it's 2020. So you're, you just finished your second year going into your third year, I believe. Yeah. So you should have taken most of the intro classes already, um, right? You, uh, you also said like you have all these relevant courses. So you should have like significant amount of technical skills that you can put into the technical skills section. So definitely add that in. Uh, so that's some of the keywords that they're looking for there. So I'm not sure what you're gonna be applying for here. If you're applying for software engineering, try to stick to the software that is most relevant to software engineering. And this also goes, if you're applying for data science, for example, try to stick to the software that's most relevant. I uh, see so you also have like Photoshop, Premiere Pro um, and Animate. If you're going for something that's more creative, then feel free to put that in there. So the general like thing is like, you wanna tailor your resume to what role that you're applying for. Languages, English, Vietnamese, sounds good. All right, so after that would be work experiences. 
Starbucks Coffee Company, technology intern, supplier management. Cool, cool. So what I really like is that you, I actually have a pretty good idea of what it is that you're doing. You're also telling me what skill sets that you use during your internship. So that's really good. My suggestion here would be, firstly, don't bold the different technologies or skills that you're using, like like Microsoft Microsoft Power Apps, Analytical Thinking, and Agile. Um, if you want to highlight those skills, you can actually have a separate bullet point where you can say like skills used and you can say like Agile, Microsoft Power Apps, or maybe, and also include like some of the programming languages that you use uh, while you're doing this as well. Yeah, the general like bolding thing, it's, there's like nothing really wrong with it, but it's just like not, I don't think it really adds on that much. So I really like also that you quantified that you improve the system automation by 50%. I would try to use more, a better word than use. The word use is just kind of like meh, you know, <laughs> like I, I use this to do this. Like I use my hand to hold this drink, right? Like it doesn't really have anything um, like exciting about it. Like we'll use the after that was good, like perform, collaborated. Your second bullet point. So I'm not, this part, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Like enhance cohesiveness of what? I'll try to explain it in a way where for somebody that doesn't have like domain knowledge would be able to understand. I like how you say you collaborate in a group of five. That shows that you're, you also have teamwork skills. So that's really good. So followed Agile Software Engineering. For anybody um, that is reading this, if they're a software engineer, they would know what Agile means. So you don't actually need to like explain what it is. All right, so moving on. University of Washington Qualitative Skills Center. Okay, I really like the quantification here. Okay, cool. So the third bullet point, either try to quantify that or try to be more specific. Because like effective study habits is a little general. Could mean like so many different things. And I like the last bullet point. So you help people figure out how to use Excel and MATLAB for the entire staff and the student body of a thousand CS department. Cool. Okay, so third work experience, woman, math, and reading, tutor. So the second bullet point, um, it seems like you kind of have two things going on at the same time. You graded students' homework in class assignments and examinations, and then you use Excel to manage a 100-person database with students' data to increase workplace productivity. So that's like two separate things. I assume that you did this and combined them together because you were out of space. So I would say like, choose one of them to put in because in this case like it's just kind of confusing uh, reading through it because it's like completely two separate ideas cool my general comment for work experience i would say like your starbucks coffee company technology intern that's like, going to be your major thing uh especially if I'm, I'm assuming you're going for software engineering roles that's going to be your major work experience so in order to really emphasize that i would actually consider removing some of the bullet points from the other two sections. Like these are still great, but you really, really want to highlight your um, internship experience. I would definitely try to include more of the programming languages that you use. I assume that you use programming languages. Um, maybe you didn't and that's fine as well. But if you did, like you definitely want to like stick that in there and also um, more like tech related stuff, right? Um, like what kind of framework you were using, what you were building, things like that. Auto ethnography research. Cool, cool. Okay, so I feel like this is something that is really unique to you. And it's also just something that I can tell that's something that you're really passionate about, right? The fact that you're actually, you did a self-research project and you hosted an online blog site. You know, this is something that takes a significant amount of effort and you and you put yourself um, to that. So seeing it as something that you're really passionate about, you care about, I think you should emphasize more of that passion. Try to convey that more through your resume. How to use words that are just like more passionate, has more emotion in it. For example, when you use the word completed, it's it's kind of like used, right? It's kind of like you had to complete it, not because you actually wanted to complete it. So um, my recommendation is go on thesaurus.com, like literally just type in like the word that you're using and look at the words that are there and choose a word that's just a little bit more action based and a little bit more passion driven. Same with conducted. Hosted is good. Hosted is an action verb. Um, another thing is like, what came out of this? You clearly care about this and you know, you worked hard on it. So what came out of it? Were you able to, you know, help other people embrace their identity and they reached out to you telling you that they helped them? You know, if they did, talk about that. Like say that's the impact of your work. So next up is Scratch. 
scratch scratch.mit.edu. Uh, so I think this one's really good. The only comment that I have is for the third bullet point over here. There's a this is like kind of nitpicky. Um, I'm kind of like a one of those grammar people. Like you use the word like utilize group con communication, comma managing project schedules, project management. So this one utilize is past tense, uh, managing is present tense. So that makes the sentence a little bit confusing to read. So try to um, simplify the sentence to begin with, and then make sure that your tenses are consistent. In this case, they should all be past tense. Cool. So finally, community involvement and extracurriculars. UW Association for Computing Machinery, ACM. It seems to me it's kind of like you guys participate in coding interviews and it's like a general support group slash like competitive programming tech group um, where you share your passion for coding, something like that, I think. Hitting in a 20 person weekly technical coding interview workshop. Like what actually came out of that? Did you actually use those skills so that y'all went and got, uh, were able to pass the technical and behavioral interviews? If, if that's the case, right? Like um, you should say what the impact of that is that you then get, went on to use those skills and got the inter and passed the interview. Again, like with all these three bullet points, try to emphasize the impact of that. And finally, Society for Women in Engineering. My comments are similar to the one before uh, for this one. It, it also is sounds like you know you guys are a support group in this case like for women in engineering specifically like what came out of that were you able to use those skill sets or maybe did you like help in that organization um and did you do resume critiques and mock interviews um and helped other people be able to network and then get interviews and then eventually get an internship or a job right now it just sounds more like it's facts like i this happened like i did this i was part of this but the facts, they don't really mean that much um, if I don't know why it matters. That's kind of my general resume review. Also, review of this strawberry milk drink, which I've actually like drank quite a significant amount of it. I feel like when I'm talking, I get really thirsty. So I just naturally reach to whatever drink I have. But in general, I, okay, resume. <laughs> yeah, so in general, resume, um, I really like the structure of it. Like the way that you structured it is it's going to pass like ATS. So that's really, really good. I also like having a little bit of color here. It makes it a little bit less boring. So that's really cool as well. Definitely reorder the, the way that you're structuring things like education and then skills, uh, work experience, and then projects and community involvement, such extracurriculars. That will make it a lot more like intuitive and flow a lot better. In terms of like the information that's on here. I think everything is already in here. You just kind of need to like wordsmith it a little bit better. Try simplifying your language and removing things that are not necessary so that when the person reading it can very easily understand what it is that you're talking about and not have to like read a sentence, you know, two or three times to really understand like what it is that you did or like why it's important. And finally, for there are two things that I think you should really emphasize a little bit more. And those are the Starbucks Coffee Company Technology Intern part. This is your major internship experience. And finally, the auto ethnography research is something that I can see that you're really, really passionate about. So try to bring that passion forward a little bit more. So strawberry milk review. I really like this drink. Like the taste of it is really nice. The only like thing that I have to say is that like as I'm drinking more of it, it gets really, really thick. So maybe that's just me, but I don't really like drinking drinks that kind of have like that thick taste in the end. I don't know how to explain it. It's like it kind of like covers your tongue, you know, and like that aftertaste stays on for a little longer. So that's something that I don't really like that much. But in general, um, I think it's like better than north american strawberry drink so yeah um i hope you guys found this video helpful in terms of the resume um and, and i don't know like maybe now in case you ever are wondering if you should buy the strawberry milk drink or not then this review of this is also helpful all right stay tuned for the next one in which i will also review a resume and review a snack slash drink all right see you guys